Okay, here's some phrasing ideas for the first part of Hoffmeister. So first note, you want to do vibrato on it and try to connect it. So you should practice, practice that, that connection and not, that sounds awful. And then, so it's two and two. So you can practice separating like that. So that kind of crashed. And kind of separated to vibrato. Now least to more. Right on those. On the repeated notes. I'm not gonna play them all the same. We're gonna start least to more. Going to that one. And loud to soft on that trill. Now you might have to pick your bow. For that, because you might want to be lower in the bow. Too soft, loud, too softer, and that's tricky because it's up bow. Make sure you play a dot on that. Now start soft here, and especially in the that's where you want to get bigger bows. And it's loud to soft. So I did that again. Start soft. Bigger. Next part, same thing, two and two. Sorry, it's out of tune. That's in slow motion. It's in, I'm doing it all in slow motion, overly exaggerated. So, now same thing. When you play three notes in a row, row, and don't play. And again here you're it's tricky because you're up bow it's that feels better it just works out that way sometimes you just have to bow against kind of go against the grain <laughs> better if you're kind of in the middle of the bow so right on that story take that as an advantage again the trill note the penultimate note is stronger than than the ultimate note you land gently and then You want to try to make as little of a slide on that as possible. It's a tricky figure. Light. With a crescendo. So it's little. And slow. See that? It's so small. Now you're in the perfect spot of the bow to start this. Hypothetically, just hook. I wouldn't mind that. Either bowling works. Start lift. Arrive there. And then here. Play all strong here.
Again, strong. It's like always a taper at the end of the phrase. 